While basketball is in tournament time, men's hockey is still deciding who will make its bracket. And the winner of this conference tournament up in Lake Placid will punch their ticket into the dance. The pep bands bringing their classic tunes were top seeded Quinnipiac men's hockey takes on number seven St. Lawrence who's looking to play spoiler against the reigning national champions and it's Tomas Mazura getting the Saints on the board first same period SLU on the power play and it's Max Dorrington who's on the doorsteps for the score two nothing Saints after the second third period now Quinnipiac with an empty net but the Bobcats lose control of the puck it's a scrum for position Possession and Ty Nakins is there for the insurance goal. St. Lawrence stuns the national champions and keeps their NCAA tournament hopes alive with a shutout victory. The Dartmouth Big Green onto the nightcap where they will face two seeded Cornell. Dartmouth representing the four seed. The Big Green giving the initial scare. This is Sean Chrisholm scoring to put the Big Green up one. Nothing. Second period, Big Red, they answer right back. Andrej Pizzanica sneaking under the goalie. And that scores things up at one apiece. And John Fusco, he's out near the blue line. That's all the space he needs for this one-timer. Gives Dartmouth the 3-1 lead, third period. Cornell's not going down without a fight. Kyle Penny nails the game-tying goal at three apiece. And just seconds later, after the initial shot is missed, Gabriel Seeger gets his own rebound and sets up Ryan Walsh for the go-ahead goal. Cornell, so Cornell scores five unanswered goals in the third, pulling off the comeback win against Dartmouth. NBC5's Eric Kerr captured the action from Lake Placid, and he now joins us to break down the Cornell and St. Lawrence game and how they were able to move on to the championship. Wow, what a wild day of hockey inside the Herb Brooks Arena. We had a come from behind win in one game and of course an upset win in the other. But still, two teams stand with one win away to punch themselves into the NCAA tournament and both teams say that they're finding themselves at the right time. We all kind of knew what we had to do. We all had to step up and uh, we were able to find you know five goals in the third period. So say so we did a fairly good job of that. It's a blank slate coming in, you know, it's 0-0 record, so we're taking it game by game, we're playing to our identity, and we're having a lot of success that way, we're going to continue to do it. And with the championship set to be back in Lake Placid for the next two years, it's a great sign for St. Lawrence fans since they are only about an hour away from the Airbrooks Arena. We're extremely excited, uh, I know that from our program to have it here, extending the contract is, is tremendous, we love it here, obviously close to home, uh, maybe the North Country fans, you know, we have a good chance to see a lot of our games when we're traveling on the road to different areas down Connecticut, so to be able to play here uh, in large numbers uh, coming to support us is pretty special. Certainly looking like it's going to be another packed crowd of SLU fans inside of the Earth Brooks Arena. Fun stuff coming up at 5 p.m. for puck drop of the ECAC Men's Hockey Conference Championship. But for now, reporting in Lake Placid, Eric Kerr, NBC5 News. Eric, appreciate it as always. Uh, big snowy day for Noah coming back up from the Big Apple.